Hey, what's going on? It's Aaron Matthews, Program Director of Sports Radio 93.1 The Fan, Sports Talk 940, WCIT, play-by-play -play voice of Lima Central Catholic football and basketball, and as well as some play-by-play -play here on WOSN. My 5 for 5 this week, question number one is, how will the boys' high school basketball tournament shape up for Lima Land teams? I think we got an excellent shot to get at least two teams to Columbus. We might even get a third team down there. I think when you look at Wayne Trace in Division 4, I think they've got the most outstanding opportunity of every team of our area that could get there. I think if LCC and St. Henry play each other in the district in the district final, as it looks like they will at Ohio Northern, I think the winner of that one can more or less punch their ticket to Columbus as well. And in Division Two, don't forget about Defiance and Salina. Those two could play each other in a regional semifinal at Stroh Center at Bowling Green. And the winner of that, I think, could be our Division II representative out of the Northwest District to go to Columbus. And then when you look at Division I, I know it'd be tough for Lima Senior to make it, or even Finley for that matter, with Sylvania Southview and Toledo St. John's in the same region. But it'll be very tough for those teams, but you never say never. My favorite high school basketball game that I have ever seen or broadcast. My favorite one that I have ever seen in person happened in 1999. The Lima Senior Elida matchup, which was just a throwback 44 not too long ago, right here on WOSN. Andre Horton went for 24 points in the fourth quarter. Lima Senior won 96 to 91. Matt Smith had the game of his life with over 30 points for Elida. I've gotten to know Matt over the years and just to experience him and talk about that game with him, I know it's still one that stands out to him, one that still stands out to me as well, and I watched it in its entirety when it was on Throwback 44. As far as games that I broadcast, it's a no-brainer. It's my first year doing LCC and their first championship that they won in 2010. That's Moment 1A. Moment 1B was their state title in 2013-2014. Question number three, the coolest happening at a sporting event that I've been at. I've got two of them. The first one came when I was in second grade. We lived outside of Kansas City, and my dad took my brother and I to a Kansas City Royals Detroit Tigers game. It was the second week of the season, and it was Bo Jackson's second year in the major leagues. In the first inning, Bo hits a three-run shot into the fountain to straightaway center field. In the second inning, he comes up and hits a grand slam. Seven RBIs through two innings already for Bo Jackson, and that was just absolutely incredible. The other moment came Michael Jordan's first game back after his first retirement with the Chicago Bulls at Indiana against the Pacers, 1995, March 17th. I was in the house. Jordan wore number 45. The atmosphere was absolutely incredible. The most electric scene I've ever seen at any sporting event. Question number four, my favorite place to broadcast. I have several of them. The Elida Fieldhouse, I love that halfway up view there from the top of the first level of the Fieldhouse. I did games on both sides of the Fieldhouse, whether it was behind the scorer's table or where the current position is. I absolutely love the atmosphere in there, especially at tournament time as well as the tip-off classic. Another favorite place is my nest at Lima Central Catholic High School, where I get to broadcast the, you know 12 high school basketball games a year. That's a great place for me to watch a game, to broadcast a game as well. Another favorite place is courtside at Stroh Center at Bowling Green State University. If I'm broadcasting there, I know that the team that I'm doing has made it far, at least to the districts and maybe even the regionals. Absolutely love the scene and the atmosphere at Stroh Center. And you can't forget about old Lima Senior Gymnasium on Pierce Street. That place was an absolute ball to broadcast from too. And my final question is, how will the Tigers shape up in 2015? Well, I'll tell you right now, I think they'll be absolutely fine in the AL Central. While you do have to worry about Kansas City a little bit, I think you need to be more worried about the offseason moves that the Chicago White Sox made. If this team can't get it together, especially with Jeff Samarja as their new ace on the mound, Robin Ventura will be looking for work very quickly. Also, I think you cannot count out the Cleveland Indians. I think the Indians will be another solid team this year. But I think overall the Tigers will be fine. The biggest question marks is can Justin Verlander come back to form from where he was a couple of years ago? He might be able to. Can Miguel Cabrera, Victor Martinez stay healthy on the offensive side of things? I think they'll be fine. And David Price is the ace of the staff in 2015. Let's see if he can put together a Cy Young caliber season. And that's my five for five. Again, I'm Aaron Matthews. You can follow me on Twitter at Matthews underscore show. And I'll see you next time with five for five on WOSN.